Hey everybody, it's Melinda from Paper Wishes by Melinda. Excuse the glasses. Oh my, do I have a story to tell all of you. I am sorry. Once again, my video for Paper Pumpkin perks and alternatives for the sunflower kit is running late because lucky me got the shingles for Labor Day and my birthday, which wouldn't be so bad. However, I managed to get them on my forehead head and eye. My right eye was completely, completely um, swollen shut for a couple days. And I guess it's pretty serious when you get it on your cornea. So I'll be sporting glasses for a while. I can't be around dust or anything. And what a crazy story. How do I manage these things? I do not know. I had such terrible headaches. I didn't even, I couldn't even handle my stamp room, let alone make cards. I had every intention of getting this kit out early. I had started on it, but like I said, sport the new look here. Oh my goodness. I am sorry. It has been quite the experience. I'm super excited to share with you the cards that I did create with Paper Pumpkin. I absolutely love Paper Pumpkin. For those of you that follow me, you know I have a blast creating and thinking outside of the box with Paper Pumpkin. I have a Paper Pumpkin Perks Club for anybody that subscribes to Paper Pumpkin under me through my website, paperwishesbymelinda.com. Every month I follow up with all my alternative ideas in a PDF, instructions to make a few more, some supplies, and a, a sweet treat or two. So it's a win-win. It is happy mail delivered to your doorstep following your Paper Pumpkin that is fun. It's called my Paper Pumpkin Perks Club because there's a lot of perks in it and I have a lot of fun with it. So if you are not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, you really need to think about it. You need to sign up by the 10th of every month to get that month's Paper Pumpkin. Every month, Paper Pumpkin features a theme um, and supplies. We're gonna open the box in just a minute and you can kind of see what they're all about. Um, don't forget the holiday catalog is out along with the annual regular catalog. If you are looking for a catalog or a demonstrator, please message me and I will be happy um, to get you either or help you find the supplies or products that you might need. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator. I absolutely love Stamping Up products. I love the coordination. I love the quality. I love everything about it. As you can tell behind me, I am slightly addicted. My stamp room is in need of cleaning, but hey, it's more fun to stamp than clean, right? Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, I have a private Facebook group, paperwishesbymelinda.com, if you'd like to join it. Um, there's my blog, paperwishesbymelinda.com. Run me, message me, I'll add you to the group. Follow me on Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Instagram. Uh, like I said, I've been silent for uh, probably a week and a half because this has been the most horrendous headache experience I have ever had. The headaches have been unreal. So, like I said, um, I really hate glasses and this is my new look for a while, I guess. I really miss my contacts. I hope you enjoy this. I am going to flip the camera. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Let me know if I can help with anything. There are so many fun new products and the holidays are just around the corner. I absolutely love fall. It is my favorite time of the year. Yes, I'm married to a farmer. That part I'm not loving because it's wild and crazy, but I love the colors. I love everything about fall. So this kit was perfect. There was so many amazing options with this kit. Um, so many fun products in the fall catalog. It is time to start those holiday cards. It's time to just have fun. So um, just create, think outside of the box. There is no right or wrong to stamping. Um, hand handmade cards are gifts from the heart. And you know what? If you're not a um, stamper, these cards are great for scrapbooking. You can cut them apart and make absolutely beautiful layouts with them too. So there's so many different ways that you can use the paper pumpkin kits. Like I said, think outside of the box. Let's flip the camera down and I am going to show you um, my creations and I'll show you what comes in the kit. I guess we'll start with what kind of comes in the kit. Then I'm gonna show you what I've created. We're gonna make a few cards at the end. Like I said, I am really gonna try and keep this a little shorter because I know I get windy and they get a little long. Sorry about that. I just get so excited about stamping and sharing with all of you that I tend to overdo it. Hang on, we'll flip this down. Sorry for the bumpy ride. Um, ride. I'm actually going to learn StreamYard so I won't have to go through this real soon. Hang on. All right. I think you all can see my um, kit. Looks like we're really centered. Once again, paperwishesbymelinda.com. 
This is how your kit comes every month, delivered to your mailbox if you sign up by the 10th of the month. So to receive next month's Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is a um, Halloween theme and it features treats. Um, however, I probably will create cards and treats with the, um, the, each kid has instructions to make the projects that come in it. And I love to make alternative projects and share them with you. The projects that come in the kits are great. The next three months feature holiday kits to get you ready for the holidays with next month featuring, um, spooky treats and Halloween features. I can't wait. The colors, the box always kind of gives you an indication of the colors. It just looks fun. Looks like Halloween. So that is right around the corner. We're going to open up this kit. I've already opened it. So it comes wrapped and pretty, but this one is not because I have already opened it. There are two ink spots in this kit. So that was a bonus. Um, it features crushed curry and swap soft suede. Oh, can't talk tonight. Full color instructions with great um, full color step-by-step -step instructions on how to make the projects in the kit. It's great. I really never read the instructions because I once again like to think outside of the box, but these are great, especially for a beginning stamper. Fun to take on a trip, on vacation. They are fun to travel with. I love paper pumpkin. This stamp set and this one was amazing. It is a Paula Premier stamp set. I absolutely love to stamp with those. This features sunflower. Thank you. Wishing you so much happiness for one of a kind friend. Hello, leaves, bees, sunflower, super fun stamp set. So in each kit, it features envelopes. In this kit, I guess every kit features envelopes or treats, whatever it needs to make the projects. Um, some beautiful laser cut die cuts, some card bases. Now, this kit was supposed to make nine cards. I got well over 30 out of the kit. I don't even remember how many I did, but I literally chop up everything in these kits. So just chop, have fun. That's what makes these kits so much fun. So this is a card front, this is a card front. Chop, chop, chop. Um, look at these beautiful watercolor images. This kit was just breathtaking. Um, card backgrounds. Here is some die cuts, some laser cut flowers, bees, sunflower bases, lots and lots of bees. I had lots of bees left over. Here is the um, gold foil. This was a special gift, um, kind of a honeycomb gold foil in um, the kit. There was, um, I think, six of these. Super fun addition. There is the stamp set that came in the kit. Here's a card that we're going to feature. Um, some die cuts. Glad I found that. I would have been looking for that in a minute. Um, once again, there's a card base chopped up. And, um, oh yeah, this was that. I do get two kits, one to create with and one to share with you. This was, once again, the holiday set. So it comes wrapped beautifully in tissue. The little bees are flying all over. It is just a super fun project. It's a great way to get started. Some vellum, honeycomb, lots of fun things in this kit. I really, really love our paper pumpkins. We're gonna set this back here. Now I am going to quick flip over and show you what I have created quick because usually I store them in my box. Um, this is another great way to use your paper pumpkins. These boxes are awesome for storing your cards. So create them and have them done. Um, that way when you need a card and oh, I don't have time to make one, you've already got them done. Take a rainy day, take a quiet afternoon and make and create the cards. And then they're ready when you need them. That way you don't have this, oh, I don't have time to stamp. You do have time to stamp. You can sit in front of the TV and make cards, but then if you store them in the boxes, they are stamped and ready to go. I sometimes change the themes inside them to birthday thinking of you so that they're ready to go when I need them. So I made so many cards this time they didn't even all fit in the box so the box doesn't exactly shut i'm just going to quick flip through them and show you um what i have created i used a lot of blackberry bliss in this um kit too and i also thought it was fun to add some of our new parakeet um hardy uh metallic ribbon the brush brush brushed brushed brash the butterflies were an awesome addition to this kit this is some of the envelope literally cut up um i'm going to cut an envelope up for you for you lately but i literally used every bit of these kits i popped this up with dimensionals so there is two pieces of the envelope uh vellum circle i absolutely love our stylish um die cuts use them all the time our stylish shapes die cuts are amazing so there are two of them um i just used various stamp sets for the um, stains in them, or I use the ones out of the kit. But there you go. Don't forget to do the insides. Added a little butterfly inside. Happy birthday. I'll show you the kit uh, stamp sets I use these from in a little bit. Um, super fun 
four by five and a quarter. My cards are all basically cut standard four and a quarter um, scored at five and a half or five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So there's the first one. I wanted to create some that you just could use your um, stamps from the kit and the um, ink. I guess I'd yeah, this is from the kit. So this is just a um, crumb cake card base, and I just stamped um, in the background in the soft suede, added a strip of basic white and a strip of um, Mango Melody, wrapped some Baker's twine, um, or linen thread. I absolutely love our linen thread. I love texture on my cards. I used a marker and I did some splattering, which will splatter in a little bit. And I guess I didn't finish the inside of that one, forgot to do that. One and more of the stylish um, die cuts, just stamped a little on it. This one was fun. One more envelope flap, uh, four by five and a quarter. This is the, um, oh, I always forget the name of this one. This is the Fresh Freesia, and I use the painted textures background. I absolutely love um, to add texture to my cards. There's that Parakeet Party stylish um, shapes again. I absolutely love that die cut. If you need a die cut set, this is the set. This is my go-to set I use all of the time. Absolutely, absolutely love it. I am looking for the stamp set that this came from. Oh, if you saw my mess, it's got to be. Oh, here it is. I use Season of Chuck a lot. Absolutely love this stamp set. It is a stamp set and die cut. Um, and I don't have the die cuts in there. Um, we have bundles or you can buy the stamps or the dies separately. A bundle is a little bit of a saving. Season of Chicks has great sayings. Thanks, thinking of you, um, wishing you the best birthday ever. I use that a lot on these cards too. So this is a great set to use. Um, just popped the label up with Dimensionals Blackberry Bliss. I added some of our rustic um, adhesive back gems. Super fun card. Just don't forget to add a piece of um, four by five and a quarter basic white inside so you can write a verse, especially on your dark colors. Here's a fun one out of the kit. I just cut it down, crumb cake wrapped in um, linen thread. This is four by five and a quarter, then cut it down to four by five, added some butterflies. I did stamp one of the die cuts out of the kit, um, the butterflies die cuts, um, not butterflies, sunflower die cuts. I stamped it in the Mango Melody. Um, I did color in with my um, Stampin' Blends in the soft suede, the inside of it, um, thank you, is out of the kit. I did Stampin' Mossy Mellow. So I added a bow underneath, popped it all with dimensionals, and added a little sunflower inside. Have fun inside your cards. So there's a fun one. This one is a little bright, um, but I think it's fun. Um, this is Mango Melody. And I just stamped for one of a kind friend. I did use Mossy Mellow um, ink there. This is the Parakeet Party um, ribbon again. I really love that metallic look in the ribbons. Added some beads and some gems, some of the rustic gems, and just added a card base. I love to add um, extra cardstock inside my cards too. Totally not necessary. This is basic white thick cardstock, and I just wanted the inside to match. So this is actually. Um, four by five and a quarter, and this is an eight, the mango melody is actually eighth of an inch out. Um, so it'd be four and two eighths by five and seven eighths. And sometimes I just like to do that too. This one is fun. I used some of our new linen ribbon for one a kind friend, um, stamped in Blackberry Bliss. Same thing with this one. This is um, four by five and a quarter and one eighth of an inch out for the um, crushed curry. This is also on thick white cardstock. I um, just tied a bow with a linen thread, added some more of those um, rustic gems, adhesive back gems, just stamped some of the leaves inside it, wishing you so much happiness. The sayings in this kit were absolutely wonderful. Here's one with Blackberry Bliss. Bliss. Um, this is one of the green card bases cut to four, and I just left it five and a half. I did not trim it down. Wrap some linen thread around it and I stamp, use one of my stylish um, shapes again. Sorry, I just, that's pretty much all I use. I love them. Added some of the butterflies. Um, once again, wishing you so much happiness. These are quick, fast, fun cards. There is one more of the envelope flaps. I absolutely loved using our um, new ribbon that is out and it is our soft sea foam. It's absolutely gorgeous ribbon. So I used that on a few of these cards. I love, whoops, and it went flying across the floor. I love the softness of this. I got a little rhinestone crazy on it. I love texture. So this is our time 
worn 3D embossing folder. I use that on a lot of these cards too. So there's an envelope flap. Happy birthday. I'm in a couple birthday groups, so absolutely love to make birthday cards. This, and if you want to join a birthday group, we have one in my private Facebook group. This was another fun one. This one used these um, stylish, um, the contour, color, the contour, scalloped contour dies. Oh, it's late in Iowa tonight. And I actually cut out one of the leaves off of the envelope. I literally took my scissors and fussy cut it out this leaf. And that's how I got the leaf. And then there's the die cut flowers. I did, um, st I did stamp and fussy cut out a sunflower here. So that's what that is. I don't know if you can see it, but I love to add Wink of Stella. So there's a little bit of sparkle in the center of the center um, sunflower because don't sunflowers sparkle. Um, thank you, some bees, some gems. This is popped up with dimensionals. This um, scalloped rectangle is popped up with dimensionals and that is cut out of the back of one of the envelopes. I used all of it. So just cut them up and um, this is stuck to the the green underneath is the background of one of those green a mossy green card bases. So there's a sunflower inside it. Have fun. You cannot just have fun with these kits. I cannot express to you enough how much it is to just cut them apart. This one is so super simple. There's none more of the gold um, die cuts that came in the kit. And I just used the stitch rectangle and once again, cut out one of the envelopes with our um, cut emboss machine. And one of our stitch rectangles added, I did stamp in Night of Navy for one of a kind friend, added some butterflies, double twied um, linen thread bow and added some four by five and a quarter inside. I love the look of that. Here is another one. I did the exact same thing on this card. This is an envelope again. Um, I did say hello on this one. I did pop this up with dimensionals and I just cut an eighth of an inch out with Blackberry um, Bliss um, and mounted this envelope on top of that. So stitched rectangles there. Happy birthday, four by five and a quarter basic white inside. I absolutely loved this. I used Shaded Summer a lot on these cards and it is somewhere around here. Oh gosh, I had them all pulled. We'll find it. Oh, here it is right here. Absolutely love this kit and we used it on another card too. This is one of my favorite sets. There's coordinating die cuts to it and it is just a super fun set. Used that one a lot. So I stamped it in um, basic gray and then I embossed it because you can't really stamp once you emboss it. So this is a super simple card. Um, four by five and a quarter, uh, three and three fourths by five, uh, stamp it in the basic gray, emboss it, and then I just finished it with some uh, ribbon, basic gray ribbon and a label out of the kit. And I did pop that up with dimensionals. I loved add dimension to my cards. And I also, stamped in basic gray inside of it so it coordinates. And this is four by five and a quarter, and then um, three and three fourths by five and stamped basic gray flower inside. Loved that, it's just, I love the texture. I don't know if you can see it, but I love our time worn 3D embossing folder. I used it once again here, and this is just a super simple note card. Same thing, this is one of the card bases embossed, and I just added, I used every strip, so this was just an extra strip off one of the envelope edges, so I just cut it down to four inches and glued it right to the side. So that's just a simple little note card with um, this wrapped three times with linen thread tied in a bow. Here's another one, same thing, thick white cardstock. I added some of our basic rhinestones. This one I did sideways, same thing, thick cardstock stamped in um, the basic gray shaded summer. Um, embossed with our 3D Time Worn embossing folder. I added a label. This is um, our just label punch. I don't know where it is right at the moment, so I'm not going to grab it, but I just punched it. And then I um, just sponge some of our Mango Melody or our Crushed Curry ink out of the kit, added some rhinestones and some ribbon underneath. The label is popped up with dimensionals. And I guess I didn't do the inside of that one. I'm slipping. Some of them I have done and some of them I don't. This is painted labels or painted textures, 3D embossing folder. So this is another basic white card stock. I cut this down to four by five and a quarter and I embossed it with our 3D painted textures um, embossing folder and I absolutely love it. This is the stylish um, shapes. Once again, circle. Can you see the stitch detail? I love these stitched um, 
die cuts. There's the parakeet party um, ribbon. I just adhered that with a glue dot. Some um, of the brushed brass butterflies and a hello in Mossy Meadow. Happy birthday. There's one more strip out of the um, envelopes. Use all the pieces. You can have so much fun with these kits. So I did add a four by five and a quarter inside um, and put that on it. And I just like the look of the card. So that's why I do that a lot. Like I said, I have so many cards to show you. I'm trying to flip fast. Um, this is one more of our cards and I just literally cut a card in half and I did not trim down the base on this one. So I adhered it to a crumb cake card base, added the um, gold foil mat out of the kit. Thank you. I like to use the um, rustic gems sometimes and um, just use them as hammerheads or nails to adhere my label. So thank you out of the kit, the butterflies and the um, ribbon. This ribbon is actually on special. Stamping Up every week in September is having some specials that are um, great in the online store. So be sure to go and check them out because every week in September they change and this is one of the specials. The butterflies were last week. Um, this week it's lots of fun things but the red ribbon is one of them. There's lots of ribbon in there. I love ribbon. I love texture on cards so I will be shopping. Um, Blackberry Bliss again. I used my Stampin' Blends and Stamped and Fussy Cut, one of the sunflowers, and I have it upside down for you. Sorry about that. Added some, um, this is one of the card bases cut down. There's some of the vellum out of the kit. Added some bees. This is out of the kit. Some um, used my uh, Rustic Gems again. Same thing. I wanted the look inside, so five and a quarter by four. Three, uh, five by three and three fourths, added a sunflower down in the corner. Just make the insides fun. I love to bring the um, out inside of the card so it matches the outside. And that is just another fun one. This is another bright one. I did get a little carried away on brightness. This is the um, crushed curry with the melon mambo. Um, this is the stitched rectangles again. So this is the die cut out of the kit. Stitched rectangle, an eighth of an edge inch out around it in the melon mambo that is popped up with dimensionals um that is a label out of the kit i did stamp that in the soft suede from the kit added some of the butterflies bees why am i calling them butterflies these are bees and the rustic um adhesive back gems and just i put some leaves inside there not sure i'm loving that but anyway there's leaves inside that one this uses our scalloped label punch um, wishing you so much happiness. That's such a fun saying. This is the uh, Parakeet Party um, ribbon again. I wish I knew where mine went because it was right here. It's kind of fun to split it out and that's what I did is you just literally peel it apart um, on the end so it gives it kind of just a wispy um, nature -y look. Added some butterflies. I did pop the first um, a layer up with dimensionals because I love dimension in my cards. So this one is um, three and three quarters by five, um, five and a half by five and a quarter by um, four is the outside layer. And that is one of the card backs. And I just added a leaf inside it. So wishing you so much happiness. That could be a wedding card, shower, birthday. These cards are great. This is a fun one too. This is a complete strip of um, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and then score it at two and three fourths. So you're going to cut it, score it at five and a half, and score it again at two and three fourths. Then I literally cut up some card bases, two and a half, two and a half by four, two and a half by four, two and a half by four. I did get this one cut just a little bit too short. So I added a piece of the envelope and I just kind of fixed that because my, um, I don't know what happened. I didn't match up quite right. So you can fix anything. It works. So kind of a fun card to get. So there you go. There is one of the um, sunflowers out of the kit stamped. I popped it with dimensionals. I added some of the die cut flowers out of the kit some of the brush splash butterflies um used linen thread and um, tied a bow which is snuck in there with a glue dot like i said there we go stamped thank you inside it what a fun card this is just i love how it just opens up and it's so pretty so have fun with them once again five and a half two and three fourths and um just cut 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 your card bases up Here's just a totally simple one. Playing with that ribbon again, one of the stylish shapes, hello. I used the the vine, whatever that is, in the um, 
Knight of Navy, added a little butterfly. Totally simple. This is just a four by five and a half. Um, this was one of the envelopes, once again. Added some basic white, and this could just be note card, thinking of you, whatever you need. Absolutely love this. I loved to use our six by six um, basic uh, paper packs. This is a neutral one I just grabbed. But these are so fun to create with. They're six by six. They're all patterned. They come in each of our color families. I use one more of our scalloped contour dies. Pop that up and I stamped happy birthday. There's some more of that um, ribbon. Isn't that just fun? The greens, I think it's just fun. So envelope strip, use all of it four by five and a quarter. I added a strip inside that's about three fourths of an inch by half inch. Wishing you the best birthday ever. You're getting tired yet? I'm about half done. Here is another fun one. Um, this is just our Mossy Meadow. More of the um, six by six designer series papers. I added some butterflies, a hello label out of the stylish shapes. You got it. I did add some of our Simply Elegant trim underneath this. I just wove it around and stuck it down. This is another fussy cut um, sunflower. I also fussy cut some leaves. I did color these all in with the Stampin' Blends and added, once again, some Wink Stellar for a little bit of glitter. Happy birthday inside. Strip of paper on that one. Here's another fun one. I really use the 3D embossing folder, the Time Worn, a lot. This one is Thinking of You, and this is from the Season of Chick. Uh, there's a butterfly, a sunflower out of the kit. Um, I just stamped it in the um, Crush Curry and the Soft Suede. I did pop up one of the die cut flowers out of it. I did add some of the vellum underneath it and some of the rustic um, adhesive backs gems. This is embossed with the 3D Time Worn embossing folder. Wrapped with linen thread and everything is on top of it. Super easy. Added a sunflower inside of it. Another one. I just loved all the colors you could bring out in these cards. 3D embossing folder again. This is one of the labels of the kit. Stamped in Blackberry Bliss. Popped up with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Added some adhesive back gems. I lo love to add linen thread. I double tied a bow. Added it with a um, mini glue dot. And I just left this plain inside too with just a leaf stamped inside. It's fun to add something inside your cards. Here's another one. Super simple. Um, texture underneath it. And then I added, um, this is one more of the envelopes cut down. I believe this is three and three quarters by four and three fourths. This is one of our um, label punches for a one of a kind friend. I love to take the markers and flick. We're going to do that in a minute. And so I just flicked some ink around it. And that once again is our uh, real red ribbon that is um, on sale right now in the sale room. Thank you. And just stamped the vine and thank you added a piece of four by five and a quarter. So super easy cards. You can see that so many colors went with these kits. I absolutely love, love, love this one. This is just one of the backs of the cards cut to four by five and a quarter, added the mat out of the kit, added a label. This is once again out of season of chick, wishing you the best birthday ever. Added some butterflies, super simple and just pretty. I did add um, also some of the olive and Sierra sand ribbon quite a bit. I loved the old olive ribbon on these cards. So that was really pretty and just simple inside. Here is another one. As I was die cutting out one of the envelopes for one of the shapes earlier, I looked at this and I'm like, well, I might as well use that. So I literally tucked some of the, um, I tucked one of the gold foil mats that came in the kit underneath it. I did um, fussy cut a sunflower, added a bow. There's one more of the stylish um, labels. Thank you. And for one of a kind friend, I thought that was fun. I did not waste anything in these kits. I probably got a little carried away. Absolutely love this one too. I love our, if you want fun paper, this paper is so much fun. Look at these plaids. They are just a blast and so many fun, fun colors. This is on our new fall and holiday um, mini catalog. And it is the Gingham, Gingham College 12 by College, Gingham Cottage 12 by 12 DSP designer series paper. Absolutely love it. It is so fun for Christmas, Halloween. Oh, do I have some fun projects coming up with it all. Um, super fun paper. This is just using that. This is a simple card, soft suede card base. I did use some of that um, ribbon out of the uh, twill ribbon combo pack Sierra Sand. I fussy cut a sunflower. There is a crumb cake label 
stamped with soft suede, added some gems, a bow. There's one more of those leaves cut right out of the envelope. So super simple, added some Wink of Stella, got a glitter. There's the inside and a butterfly flew away. Um, stamped a sunflower down inside it. I did double mat the inside. So it's crumb cake and then basic white. Um, five and a quarter by four and then just take it in a quarter of an inch. I usually try to keep my cuts in a quarter of an inch, quarter and eight, but a lot of times it's quarter inch. So super fun, easy card. Here is another one. I just really enjoyed um, stamping with this. This is um, a mossy meadow card base. There's where my butterfly went. I can see where he was supposed to be and he flew off the card. So we will try to stick him back on there and make him not fly upside down. All right, there he is. Let's see if he'll stay there. Um, Stamped in Blackberry Bliss. This is once again an envelope flap. I just, this is um, a two inch, an inch and three fourths. This is um, two inch by five and a quarter and an inch and three fourths by four and three fourths envelope. I just double uh, wrapped it in linen thread. I did wrap it three times, tied it in a bow, popped it with dimensionals, uh, tucked a label underneath, stamped in Blackberry Bliss, and there you go. There's the inside added some um, basic white, stamped a little, I don't know what those are, leave inside it and there you go. Nature's not my cup of tea, I'm sorry. Okay, here's another just simple card and it, it could be for anything. Thick white cardstock, there's at the back of a card base, one more envelope wrapped in linen thread and I did fussy cut out and colored in with my Stampin' Blends, one of the sunflowers. This set was really easy to fussy cut. The trick to fussy cutting is that you just turn your paper. Don't try to turn your scissors all the time. Just keep turning your paper as you're cutting. And it was just really easy to angle in there. You want to use pa paper snips or sharp scissors and you can easily cut right into the edges of it. Super easy. It's popped up with dimensionals wrapped with linen thread. Thank you inside it. So I guess I did make that a thank you card. Here's another fun one. I used our honeycomb embossing folder in the Fresh Freesia, uh, four by five and a quarter embossed. There's not one more envelope um, base and that is cut down to three and a half by four and three fourths. Added die cuts out of the kit. I did stamp this in Blackberry Bliss. There's some butterflies, one more fussy cut sunflower. It's popped up with dimensional underneath the first layer and happy birthday inside it. This also was a fun one. I used ours and I found this, um, I scoped this on the internet, so I cannot take credit for all this. I changed it a little bit, but um, this is a fun one. And I, we have what's called split texture die cuts. So I cut a crumb cake, four by five and a quarter. Then I am, am cut it out, die cut, and it, it actually had a pattern in the side. And then I just took my scissors and I trimmed the pattern out of it. So then we tucked the, um, I tucked the, um, die cut on the back side of this. I did stamp in the mango melody. And the trick to this was to turn your, we're not going to make this one tonight because it's kind of time consuming, but you to turn your stamp upside down and ink it and stamp it in the, um, crushed curry. Then I turned my stamp back over and stamped it in the soft suede to get the sunflower image. And then for a one of a kind friend, and I did add some of the um, bees and some of the rustic gems that is popped up with dimensionals. So it was a fun one, a little bit time consuming, but it was a super fun card. I did um, case that idea on the internet, so I can't take complete credit for this one. I did change it up a little bit, but it was a super easy one to make just a little time consuming. And that is our split, split textures die cuts. Only you kind of cut it out once you get the shape. So just fun. Added some bees, uh, four by five and a quarter inside. And I, you have so many bees in the kit that I just use them along the way. And there's some of that fun DSP. Thank you. So there you go. There you have the cards that I created. Now we're going to make a few quick. And this is the first one we are going to create. And this is using our mossy meadow. And I tried to have everything really cut out for you. So is a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And I'm going to grab my tape runner. We're going to go ahead and stick that down inside your card. 
And then I already cut down a um, crushed curry, four by five and a half, four by five and a quarter. And then I die cut, or I cut down a card base, literally to, um, when I cut down my card bases, I first cut them in half so that I have two halves. If I can find my card bases, I would show you. Here we go. I literally take my trimmer and I cut them right in half. Then I have two halves to start creating with. So then from there, I cut this down to three and three fourths by five and I embossed it with our 3D Time Lord embossing folder. This is my favorite embossing folder. I use it all the time. So literally I took my card after I cut it down my card front, I ran it through my embossing machine and I ended up with the texture that I got. You can flip it to either side and it is just fun kind of rustic texture and I thought it really went great with these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to adhere that to these are just simple cards. I'm going to adhere, adhere that to the Crush Curry card base. Then I have two shapes. I have a vellum. These are out of my Stylish Shapes die cuts. Absolutely love these die cuts. Um, stylish Shape dies. You cannot go wrong. They are amazing. I would show them to you, but they will fly all over. So we won't go there today. Um, I did use my shaded summer stamp set. I use that a lot. I love the happy birthday and the thank you. That's what I use for a lot of the cards. Um, so I use that stamp set and we are going to stamp hello you. See if I can find it. Here we go. In the Blackberry Bliss, which is right here. And we are also going to use our Mossy Meadow. And I did stamp a vine on the side, but I stamped it off first because I want it to be really light. So I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp on the side like so. So I just wanted it to be a light, light flower. So we're going to do that. We're going to close that up. And then I stamped Hello You because I just, I don't know, I just wanted a fun saying. So that is my fun saying in Blackberry Bliss. Let's just stamp that right in there. Then I did take one of our Mossy Meadow markers and I love to do a little bit of ink splatter and that's what I was talking about. So we are going to take the thick end of our marker and I'm just going to flick a little bit of ink on there. It just kind of gives it a little bit of fun texture. It's um, I enjoy doing that. While that's kind of drying for a second, we will close up this. I'm going to go ahead and stick this to our card front. I love to use our Stampin' Seal Plus, but we also have a great multi-purpose glue. There's lots of different adhesive choices. That is my adhesive choice. That is probably my go-to. So we're going to adhere that down. Then I am going to take my label and I'm going to go ahead my stamped label and I'm going to center that on my vellum die cut like so. Then I took some of our um, old olive ribbon out of our um, twill ribbon combo pack and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to stick that down because you're not going to see it once we put the circle over it. I just um, grabbed a piece. We'll trim it up more when we're done, but it's fun to have your edges angle. Then we're going to take some um, Stampin' Dimensionals. Oh, and we just threw that on the floor. That's awesome. Uh, MG, yep, we are definitely recording. Okay. I was like, this will be cute if I'm not even recording. I'm just going to stick a couple of them down, peel the backs off. Hello you. Perfect. And I did on this card, I already finished. I added one of the bumblebees out of the kit. You could also add one of the brush bass butterflies, but there you go. Isn't that just a super fast, fun card? Easy, easy. These cards are so easy. Here is another fun card that I made. And I wanted to make a card that could show you 
that you can actually use the stuff in the kit. If you are just a new stamper and you don't have all the stamps, it's okay. You can still have fun creating with these um, kits. So this is a soft suede card base and it is cut four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. We are going to take our sunflower and I'm just gonna go ahead and ink it up and I'm gonna do some background stamping. Just stamping around the card. That is just called background stamping. We are creating some background. Just have fun with it. That looks pretty good. I'm good with that. Then we're gonna give the sunflower bases some center. Like so. Now, I did just, I thought it was just a little plain, and I could have added the little um, B out of the kit, but what I did instead, and I actually did this because I had to cover up a blue, but I liked how it turned out, is I just took our marker and I flicked some ink, just because I loved the rusticness of it. So, you can get too much, not enough. That's anyway how I did that. Then I took a piece of our um, six by six in color. Um, this is not the in color. This is the um, brights, I believe. No, this is the Regals um, designer series paper. It comes in all of our color families. And this is a two inch by four and a quarter strip. And I'm just going to adhere that right down in the center. And all of our designer series paper is double sided. So if you don't like one side, you can use the other. And we're gonna stick that right down in the center like so. And then I used my linen thread and I like to use our linen thread a lot. And I went ahead and I wrapped it three times. Oops, it helps if you hang on to it. Snip it off. And just tie it in a bow because we're gonna it doesn't really or I'm not gonna tie it in a bow I mean I'm gonna tie it in a knot I like to wrap three times I don't know that's just kind of my kind of rule of thumb but I'm gonna tie it in a knot like so and then I'm going to trim it up and it's okay if it looks a little loose because you want it, it, it it's supposed to look naturey so that's okay naturey I don't know if that's a word but it's a word in my bird then I used my um, labels and I used a smaller one and a larger one but I think for this one this is also the stylus shapes I'm gonna go ahead and put wishing you so much happiness I got that down a little but it's okay it's okay it'll work then I took a piece of our um, scrap paper which I forgot to grab so this will work and I went ahead and I stamped the sunflower like so. We'll go ahead and give him a center. And I did stamp this in soft suede out of the kit. Let me get that real close. But you know what? I'm not loving that, but that's okay. There's two sides to every paper, or we can get some more because I didn't like I didn't get that centered like I liked it. And this is just where you use your scrap paper to stamp these up. So there you go. We're going to do this one more time and see if I can get it a little more. The nice thing about our Polymer Premier stamp sets is you can see through the blocks and you can see where you're stamping, which is what I really like. So there you go. I like that much better. Um, and it's okay because I have ink all over my block, but it will just clean right up. You use our stamping chamois or scrub pads and just wipe it up. And look, when you use dark colored ink, it will stain your stamps. It's okay, they're clean. That's just what happens to them. And you can see that's what happens to my chamois because I stamp a lot. It's okay, it's cleaning them. It just looks like that. Um, then what I did, and I'm for time's sake, I'm not gonna go ahead and cut the whole thing out. But what I wanted to show you is when you're cutting, you basically just want to trim into your edges and turn your paper. See how I'm turning the paper versus turning the scissors? It will help you get into those edges and just um, cut 
away. So just keep turning your paper and trim out your sunflower. I love to fussy cut things and don't get right on the image. Leave a little bit of a white edge too. Don't try to cut right on the soft suede stamped image. It won't work. It will, um, you'll be really frustrated. But if you leave a little bit of a white edge around it and cut around that and just keep turning your paper as you fussy cut. It really helps if you use our paper snips are wonderful, which is what I'm using. You want to use a very sharp scissor and a little scissor so you can get into those crevices. So see how I am um, cutting that out? Like so. Um, and I'm not gonna keep going on this because I don't want this to run over forever. But then what I did, I, um, like I said, I wanted to do some that just kind of you could see that you can use the things in your kit. So what I did was I took some of our stamping um, daubers and you can also take some sponge and cut up a little piece. And I just dabbed it in some of the inks. This one, I just did the center in soft suede. So I just literally added some ink to it. Then I took our crush curry and I'm gonna do the same thing. And I just went and I kind of let it get lighter in places and darker in places but I just stamped, or uh, just dabbed ink, just for something different. Our stamp and blend markers work great too, but I just decided I was gonna sponge these for some reason. And I really like the way they turned out with some darker and some lighter. So that's just another fun option that you can do. And the way I finished this card was I, there's my sunflower cut out and then I took my fingers and I just kind of curled the edges up a little bit so it has kind of that sunflower feel that is popped over the um, linen thread with dimensionals I once again added some wink of Stella um, for some glitter I absolutely love our wink of Stella pens love 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 to add a little bit of glitter so I just kind of put it in the center I don't know if you can see that on the camera but it's just fun to add a little glimmer um, to your projects. I added one of the um, bumblebees. This is the label, stamped wishing you so happiness. I actually used the shorter one here, but I um, decided to use the longer one on this one. So the sunflower will be fussy cut and it will go right over the top of our um, card that we created. And then I just added a sunflower up in the top of the card base. And when you do that, all you have to do is just catch this is a four by five and a quarter for inside of it. Just ink it up and just catch part of your paper. And there you go. And if you want, you can go ahead and add in your circle too. So then I stamped my happy birthday. I don't know where that is mounted. Oh, it is right here. We can go ahead and add that if you want. Right inside of it, like so. This is all in the soft suede. And I love to add and use all my strips of paper. So I have a half inch by a four inch strip of the DSP. I just love to decorate inside my cards too. Doesn't everybody love pretty cards, pretty mail? So, and I got that just a hair short. So what I would do is I would take my paper trimmer cause that will just bug me. See, I'm just a hair off. So I'll just take my paper trimmer and cut that down. And then um, we will go ahead and we will add that inside of the card. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love this color combination. Such a pretty card. And I just wanted to show you that even after your supplies are gone in your kit, you can keep using these stamps. Then I also added um, the DSP to the back of the envelope flap. I don't know where my envelope was, so they did that with, but that is super easy. Take a two and a quarter inch strip of paper. Um, and I just, I use my, um, Stampin' Seal Plus, and I just kind of put some adhesive all over the back of the envelope. And then I take my strip and I like to get it as close to my envelope flap as I can, the little edge of it. You can feel it with your finger. And I just put my paper right up to the top of it. You try not to go over it and just push it down. And then I literally take, perfect, that works great. I just take my scissors, once again, my paper snips. And you don't have to, sometimes I leave them um, literally flat and sometimes I trim right around them. So, 
isn't that just a cute card but i would do one more thing to have just a little bit more fun with this it's okay but i think the front of the card needs to have a sunflower too right so i would probably tuck a little bit of a sunflower and i got carried away and lifted up a little bit too quick but that's okay so there you go isn't that fun it, here's the envelope and there is the back of it and there's our card so have fun like i said I just, I did all kinds of things. I love sunflowers. My mom loves sunflowers. I get that from her. But I love the sponge look too for just the, this is just the um, crushed curry out of the kit. But I love the, the different um, color families of it that it came out of. So that's a super fun one. I have um, two last cards and they are fast. This is another one. Hopefully my ink is dry here. That is the um, crumb cake. Four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And I have a piece of basic white, four by five and a quarter, to add inside of it. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that inside the card. And you don't have to. Um, crumb cake is light enough that you can write inside it, but I just like to do that to all my cards. I always add a card base inside it. Then I took some of our metallic gold um, card, um, foiled card stock and this is cut to uh four by five and a quarter and i just wanted a little edge of it to show so then i went out to four and two eighths by five and um seven eighths and I, this is the back of one of the card bases so we literally cut this in half and here you go here's the back of it um so i just am going to stick this and it, this would be fun to be embossed too. And I didn't emboss this one, but it would be really pretty with a time-worn folder. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stick that right down. And that is a little crooked. Awesome. It's okay. It's kind of forgiving if you lift it up right away. So we're gonna try to straighten that out just a tad bit. Okay, much better. I don't know what happened there. Then I took a vellum circle and we're gonna go ahead and remember that card that I used the um, the uh, the um, texture uh, split textures. Well, when I adhered this down, I cut out some of the back of this that you can't see underneath this. So I literally took out with my scissors. I just um, fussy cut some of that out because it's under the sunflower. You can't see it, and we didn't need it. So that is where I got that piece. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put that right down on top of my vellum circle. So we're going to go ahead and just use a little bit of adhesive because you don't need much to adhere vellum down and it's going to be covered up anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down and then we're just going to have a hint of my glue. I probably wouldn't even need to do this, but I'm just going to give it a really, really light just a couple little pieces because it's not going to go anywhere anywhere. Stuff is going to be stuck to it. So I'm going to use some of my glue and I just put a very little bit in the center of it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just stick that down to it. And then we're going to put the flower over it and I am going to give the flowers a little bit of dimension. I'm either going to like this or I'm not because I change things as I roll. So I'm going to peel up the back. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stick that down like so. And then I have a label and I think this looks like a thank you card. So if I can find my thank you, here we go. I think we will go ahead and stamp this in the soft suede. All right. And we're going to go ahead and use some dimensionals on that. And put one on each end because I'm going to try to get this over the flowers. like so. 
And then I have a, um, I have two different bows tied because I couldn't decide which one I liked. And we have the linen thread and we have the basic white. And I don't know, what do you guys think? I think, I think I'm going with the linen thread because I just like the look of it. Now, um, these tails are really long. I'm gonna go ahead and stick it down. I'm gonna use a mini glue dot. I'm using the ones off the roll, but there were some that came in your kits. And I am just going to go ahead and I'm gonna kind of tuck that right up as close under the label as I can get. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck my bow right up there. And then I'm just gonna trim off those tails like so. Now I think it would be fun, and this is adding on the fly as I roll too, and I don't know why I do these things. I can find my, yep, here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of our rustic um, adhesive back gems. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it that nail head look. Yep, I like that. Cute. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and stick this card base to my card. And I could pop it up with dimensionals or I could leave it flat. And I don't know. I'm thinking dimension because... I love dimension. Yes, I get a little carried away and I go through a ton of our dimensionals. They are all over the house because they tend to follow me. But um, it is fun. I love dimension on projects. Dimension and elements are probably, everybody has their stamping niches and those are kind of my uh, claims to fame, I guess you could say. I like to use the take your pick tool to pop the backs off and it's also easy to pop them right in the garbage when you um, get them off that way. So I just pop them all off. I missed one. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right down on my card front. And then I think I would probably go ahead and add I think this one calls for some, some butterflies. Oops, that one's flying off onto my finger. And I, um, you could keep going, but I like that. So there's a fun one. Just thank you. Just a simple, simple card. And like I said, I added a lot of dimension to that. Looks like I didn't get enough adhesive up here in the corner. Simple fix. So there you go. One last card, and this is really thinking outside of the box. This is a fun one. Are you guys ready for the holidays? Because our holiday um, products are amazing. And this, this has been so popular. We have um, a beautiful... Uh, sweet. This is called Lights A Glow. Check out this beautiful 6x6 six six designer series paper. There's a stamp set, die cuts, paper, a whole suite of products. I am using some of the paper. Look at that gold foil emboss in this paper. It is gorgeous. It's been selling out, coming back, selling out. It's awesome. 6x6 six six holiday paper. Are we ready for Christmas? <gasps> it's going to be here before we know it. So this was a super simple card that is just fun. I was kept looking at these and I'm like, you know, this is talking Christmas to me too. So here's what I came up with. Check out the die cuts in the spruced up bundle. These fun trees are cut out of our um, gold foil. Look at these. They are cut out of our die cuts in this um, bundle spruced up. So it's a stamp set and you can buy the die cuts separately or you can get the stamp set with it. Um, I just used the die cuts out of it, but they were fun. And we're going to go ahead and create just a super simple card here. I always start with the inside first. So I have a strip of the paper that is half inch by four. We're going to go ahead and stick it down to our four by five and a quarter. And then I have a 
uh, several different trees. So I literally took one of the trees because you're always supposed to do an odd number. So there's three on the front of the card and I took one and put it inside my card. Oops, I had some adhesive on my back we, or my finger. We'll fix that later. Then I um, used Hopin' um, Peace, great Christmas set with our Cherry Cobbler ink. I love the scenes in this piece. Um, I can't read it upside down. Peace on earth to you, good friend. Um, with love and hope, Merry Christmas, good tidings of comfort and joy, God's blessing to you. This is an awesome Christmas set. If you need Christmas scenes, this is really, really a beautiful set. So we're using our Cherry Cobbler ink, and I'm just going to go ahead and stamp Merry Christmas. Because we are all ready for Christmas, right? Not really, but oof, it's going to be here before we know it. We have a wedding at our house before Christmas, too, so it's just going to be a little crazy. You can see on this one I got just a hair over the edge so just take your paper snips problem solved and snip it right off I love our paper snips they are sharp crisp fun very affordable they will you will use them to pieces then I took our um, this came out of the kit the um, gold foil honeycomb that was a gift in the kit they always surprise us with fun gifts in these kits and I just took my um, glue, and you could use your mini glue dots too. And I just kind of went around the edges with my multi-purpose glue. And it doesn't take a lot because these are really light. They're not going to go anywhere. So I just kind of dusted the edges as best I could. All right, there we go. And... Then I just centered it right down on our Mossy Meadow card front. And it's very quick, ink, quick drying, so there we go. Then I did one more of our scallop contour dies with the um, lighted, um, lighted a glow, lights a glow, sorry, lights a glow, Christmas DSP six by six. This is beautiful, look at that gold. Um, embossing in it. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful two-sided paper. So there's one of our um, stitched contour dies and I think before I stick this down I'm gonna go ahead and put my Christmas trees on it. So we have four Christmas trees that were cut out. I love the shapes in these. They're just so fun. So I'm gonna really lightly put some glue on these because these are really fine lined. Don't you love that I turned sunflowers into Christmas? I mean, how clever is that? That's what I mean by these kits are so adaptable. You can adapt them to whatever you need them to be. They do not have to be what they came as. It's okay. They are literally whatever you need them to be. So there we go. And the glue will dry clear, so do not worry about that. Then I'm going to go ahead and stick the littler one down. like so. Hope you guys are enjoying this. It's probably getting long once again. I am so sorry. I just get so carried away. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tuck him right over and overlap the bigger one like so. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the this big one and we are going to add some dimensionals to the back and I'm gonna yeah that'll work peel those off and just place that right over the top then I once again I took dimensionals because I love dimension I love stamping up loves me you probably don't want to know how I go through so many, but that is the benefit of being a consultant. I just can use as many as I want. It's okay. I don't have to feel guilty. If you um, are interested in joining um, Stamping Up, I would love to have you on my team. We've added a lot of team members to um, the Paper Wishes team. We have fun, free training if you wanted. 
uh, hobby shopping, whatever, product discounts, it's, it's a blast to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I absolutely love it, and I would love to have you join me. Paper wishes by Melinda.com. Join my team and join the fun. All right, so there you go. We have a sunflower card that is now turned into a Christmas card. Merry Christmas. Isn't that just gorgeous? So simple. And don't forget, we have to do the envelope because we can't send a card that doesn't match, right? So just take your two and a quarter um, strip. You do want to get kind of close to your edges with your um, adhesive so that it isn't loose. And I kind of didn't do that real well. And you can use your glue. The glue is probably faster sometimes. I just am always using my Stampin' Seal Plus. Once again, just fill your crease of your envelope. I love our envelopes. You can get them in packs of 40. This is our basic white envelopes. Perfect. And then you can um, trim around them with the scissors or you can just fussy cut down the edge like so. And then um, sometimes it's hard to get real close. So just take your paper snips and just go ahead and trim right down. Perfect. There you go. You have a beautiful Christmas card. Isn't that gorgeous? And you have a card ready for Christmas. I absolutely love our trimmer too. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! Um, paper trimmer, you may, um, may want to consider it. It has a scoring blade and a cutting blade. So when I say score, you use the score. When I say cut, you use the cutting blade. And you know what? I forgot. Oh, you're going to shoot me. I have one more fun, fun card and it's fast, but I love how it turned out. And we're going to go ahead and use, um, show you that one really quick. And this is a fast one. I promise. This is a gift card holder and I turned it into a four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And then I scored one end at an inch and a quarter. Then I took some of our, um, tearing tape, which, where did the tearing tape go? It was right here, but that's okay. We've got more. So I'll just grab a new piece. Okay. Actually, before I do that, I have more of our DSP and these are cut to four inch by, um, one inch. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that on the outside of this. And once again, this is scored at an inch and a quarter. And then I added a strip of DSP that is one inch. And um, now I'm going to take some of our tearing tape. And our tearing tape is just literally what it is. It is tearing tape. So you just place it down and you just tear it off and I tore it into two pieces. That is awesome. You know what? For time's sake, we're going to get a new one. I don't know how I managed to do that. All right, here we go. Find the end. So we're going to just put it right on the edges and I'm going to make a little gift card pouch. So the, and you just peel the backing off like so. And like so and stick it down so now I have just made a little pocket to put a gift card in isn't that slick so then this it's it's a little um, different because rather than oh you could open it sideways I guess you totally could I don't know why I didn't do it that way we're gonna open this one sideways that will work just fine so um, this is one of the envelopes and this is cut four by four perfect square so we're gonna go ahead and stick that to the front and it is a four by four square like so and one more of the strips of the dsp and that is one inch by four inch and we have a dimensional that decided to jump under the adhesive awesome no one would see it but it will drive me crazy so we're gonna get it out of there i'm gonna put that right here like so then I am going to stamp uh, seriously. Well, I don't know where my um, stamp disappeared to. 
That is weird because I have everything mounted and it's just not where it's supposed to be beside me. Um, I used Night of Navy and I stamped um, the one of a kind friend message. And that is strange because I don't know where he is right now. So to keep this moving, we will avoid that right at the moment. Then um, another four by four piece of basic white. And we're gonna put that inside the card. Gift cards are just fun. They're easy gifts. Everyone loves a gift card. So it's be, it's fun to be able to um, send them to people. It's going to drive me crazy because I know that was here. And I do not know where it disappeared to. Um, so I'm going to grab my Night of Navy ink, which is right here. And when you're sending a gift card holder, it's usually a happy birthday or a thank you. Um... And I think this one is going to be a thank you. So there you go. I have a thank you. And then I did stamp. It's just weird. Anyway, um, I did add some butterflies around my stamped image, as you can tell. And pretend this is my gift card. So this one flipped up. And then this one flips open. So there you go. Here is the gift card holder. So um, just a simple card. Uh, scored at five and a half, scored at an inch and a quarter, made a pocket, and there's your gift card and a thank you. So isn't that just a fun one? These cards are simple. I hope you just think outside of the box and have fun. Sign up is now on for the um, September Spooky Treats. You need to be signed up by September. Uh, September 10th if you want the next kit spooky treats which looks like a ton of fun the next three months feature holiday if you sign up by um, September 10th and you decide to order from paper wishes by melinda.com you can go to my website and subscribe to paper pumpkin um, in my shopping cart and you will be added to my paper pumpkin perks club where I love to think outside of the box have fun with these kits I appreciate you watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, I understand. Um, I've really enjoyed sharing them with you. I hope that you enjoy them. I hope you have fun. Like I said, if you do decide to, decide to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you can do a one month, a three month, a six month, or a 12 month subscri subscription to Paper Pumpkin. You can pause your subscription at any time, or you can cancel it if you're like, you know, this is just not what I like. But if you are just a new stamper or you want to challenge yourself, there are so many options with Paper Pumpkin and it is a great way to build your ink collection if you're a new stamper with the stamping spots. Stamping spots are great to take when you want to go um, on a retreat or stamping or away for a vacation. It's a great way to start your stamp set. This sunflower set I will use over and over because it is so much fun. So once again, Paper Wishes by Melinda. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sorry these are running late. Like I said, the lovely hives got the best of me, but hey, we're on the mend. Have a great night. Have a good week and thanks again. Bye-bye.